two kids who are almost adults and I don't feel like a grown up. See? Science, shall we? Mm-hmm. Into science? Yeah. So, uh, Love it. an article out that uh, Nate sent me yesterday. The headline of the article is Scientists find humans age dramatically in two bursts, one at 44 and one at 60. Whoa, really? Whoa, okay. Yeah. You know, your molecules are you know doing their thing. Our, we are built of molecules mm-hmm. that control this, control that, mm-hmm. bring oxygen to here, and take blood to there. Mm-hmm. What? What's scary? Some music for this? No, oh, scary. Yes, we have music. <laughs> aging music? It's music for aging <laughs> molecules. <laughs> so they say, basically, in this article, and you can uh, you can help me out with this. Sure. Nate. Um, around 44 years old, on average, Gen Xers, right? Mm-hmm. That's when your molecules go into a big, major shift. Mm-hmm. That's correct, yeah. Into a shift in a direction of that ages you, okay. a, a, for lack of a better term. Correct, yeah. And at 60... You have another shift. When I'm in my second shift, <laughs> I'm, I'm, pull, I'm pulling a double. <laughs> You're in second gear. Let's call it second gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got gear. some time left here. He's Good. downshifting. Let's, let's, let's be real. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so the, what this means is, I mean, what yeah, do you want to start? start? Start with women. Basically. Okay, so uh, the reason it's 44 is because it's kind of skewed because of women, because of premenopause, and mm-hmm. your body really starts to change yeah. on a molecular level. Uh, at 60, you're just getting old, right? Like your right. uh, the way it was explained in this article is, you know, your body just can't do what it used to do anymore, and it's hanging on by a thread, and then it just kind of falls off that, you know, cliff. At 60? At I don't 60. buy that. I don't buy that either. Well, but keep in mind, uh, if you... It was a study, right? It's a, it's a study, but keep in mind... It, Two things, two factors to keep in mind. Number one, uh, all people are different. Yeah. Yep. Our machines are different from each other's machines. Secondly, there are ways to slow it down, right. to, to keep the molecules moving in the proper direction. And that yeah. takes exercise and diet and <laughs> drinking less and <laughs> partying a little less. Whoops, <laughs> mm-hmm. I got to start that. Remind me. Stop. Good <laughs> and, luck. But you know, the molecules also are molecules that affect your thinking, your memory, your, yeah. your cognitive, whatever. I mean, there's a lot going on in your body. I mean, there's billions of things happening at every split second of your day. These molecules mm. are fed by different means. They feed off each other. Mm-hmm. There's cancer rolling around. And they say everyone has a little cancer in them. You know? Everybody has That's cancer exciting. cells, yeah. Congratulations. Yay! So, yeah, but the, the the study is pinpointing 44 on average in that age group and 60 in wow. the other okay. age group. Okay. So, so, there you have it, science. 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 Woo! Yeah. So what do we do with this information is a question. I don't know. I mean, there's really nothing you can do. I, I mean, Froggy made a good point how... <laughs> You know, I mean, I hate to be negative. I mean, you can't stop aging. No. But it's no. the way you look at it, right? I mean, I, I'm just looking at age as I don't feel grown up and I am 44, right? I drove to your party with two of the interns and Abby. Right. And we had a conversation and they said, well, thank you so much for that conversation because you treated us like adults. I go, okay, well, how am I supposed to treat you? She, well, well, you're just like a grown-up. You're so much older. But I don't feel grown-up. I'm 44. I don't feel like a grown-up. Right. Do you feel like a grown-up? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. I don't. I, she, I have two kids who are almost adults, and I don't feel like a grown-up. See? Well, I think is, grown-ups don't exist. Thank yeah. you. I just don't think that's a thing. A, like, it is a thing. N- and no. if, you, if you look at someone <laughs> as a grown-up, they, 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 that's because there's other factors. Like, they're just boring. Maybe. Well, I think, you know, the term grown up, well, at least the way I used to look at it, was this person has all their stuff together. They have all the answers that I need. I can rely on this person. Because you look at your parents as grown ups. Yeah. I can rely on this person for everything. And then you reach the age that your parents were and you realize, oh my God, mm-hmm. they were winging it? Yeah. This right. is crazy. And exactly. we just kind of stay in that zone. If you watch some older TV shows or movies, it is not the same. No, like I the mean, Golden Girls. Yeah, they were like J-Lo's age. Uh-huh. It's which crazy. Is crazy. Right. It's, but now, even, you know. Take it back to Sex and the City, which wasn't that long ago, but still a long time ago. Right. Some of the men that they were like, oh my God, he's so fine. I looked at that guy, I was like, how old is he? And they <laughs> said he was 34. Get out of here. What was that? I know. George Costanza was 30, 34? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's, there you go. We're all different <laughs> machines. And we're talking about apples and oranges a little bit. Yeah. We're talking about... Yeah. Uh, scientific physical yeah. age versus mentality and yeah. this and that but here we all are yes Gary 
when I hear information like this and I see lists like that, I want to go out and buy a bunch of skincare products to slow the the visual down because physically I feel like I'm 27 and I feel like oh. as it, as the way I should look should be like kind of like on par with that. But wait, I thought everyone said to you scary. How do you look so young? <laughs> they, they did. They asked you scary. No. Uh, scary, how do you look so young? They ask, you said that's I, what they asked you. You have to be 27. Just, who are they? I, I, people say that. They, they do wonder still how I look so young. But yeah, that's because I told you I have no wife or kids. But my, the thing is this, though. If I'm visually going to, you know, can't stop time with this list, and it's going to happen, and the molecules are going to kick in, I need to do something well, physically for myself. Okay, you are. You're working yeah. out. Now, look, look, I happen to disagree with the fact that what you said a second ago, Nate, is it well? You, it's time is ticking. There's nothing you're going to slow it down. Well, yeah, you can. Now, th- there are many, many things you can do. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't work th- effectively for everyone, mm-hmm. but there are things you can at of least course. attempt to do to slow down your aging process, right? And moisturizing your face is a yeah. very important thing. <laughs> okay. Although a lot of times I feel like unless you get like a surgical. A lot of it's genetics. Like, well, yeah, it's yeah all, for sure. It, it, there's, yeah. A, there's a million different things that come into play in, in yeah. the aging process, right? Mm-hmm. So last night, having dinner with my friend Dana, she's like, so where are you in your life? And I said, well, just turned 60. She said, what does that mean? I said, I want to get out. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to go on a trip. I'm going to take mm. the dogs, move to Italy for three months. Mm. <laughs> she said, didn't do it. Yeah. Because you're going to die soon. No! <laughs> well, you know what? I don't think the you're going to die soon. But Stop telling me I'm not, because that, that makes me go, okay, I'll just wait another 25 okay. years. But, <laughs> wait, he has a point, because uh, Sheldon and I were talking about this the other day, how I know a lot of people can't do it, because, you know, unfortunately, people live, you know, paycheck to paycheck. But if we all could retire sooner than later and try to enjoy it, because, one, you don't know what's going to happen health-wise, we had somebody in this building who unfortunately was three weeks before retirement and he passed away and he never got to enjoy it. My dad, I think he was a year and a half into retirement. He didn't get to enjoy it and he passed away. You don't know what's going to happen. So if you have the opportunity to retire earlier or enjoy what you're putting away, right? I think you should because you don't know what's going to happen. You, you don't. don't know if you're going to be healthy. You no. don't know if you're going to be able to enjoy all Amen. This stuff. And you know, and it's not always in retirement. Yeah. It's also shifting into a new way to sustain life monetarily. Yeah. You you don't have to do that rat race thing that you're doing, sit at that desk in that cubicle every day. Right. You can make a choice, if you can, to make less money and be happier. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, these choices are there. And, and a lot of and times, Scary's when, answer is uh, eating an avocado every day. <laughs> That's what they said. Oh, an it's working. Then I'm gonna live forever. Yeah. If you, <laughs> I also think like a lot of times, like where we are and what we do for a living, is how much money you need to spend or or your lifestyle. And if you just like you said, adjust your lifestyle a little bit, maybe downgrade a little bit, you can maybe save a little bit more. And you find you don't need this, that, or the other thing. You can do without it. You know exactly. what I mean? Well, yeah. Amen. So. 44 years old, there's a burst in molecular change, mm-hmm. and then 60, there's a burst. You know, a lot of people are saying, you you may be, well, that's years from away from me. I'm only 29, or I'm only 32. Well, You're gonna blink. it'll get here before you know it. <laughs> yep. And preparing for that, either saving money or saving your skin with, hair, uh, with <laughs> skin products. With moisturizer. And working out and eating better. You know, you pay you pave your road a little earlier than some of us 